Kelvin, thanks for joining us. Um, plenty to talk about, plenty to catch up on. Let's start on the pitch, start to the season. 17 league games gone in the top three. Been a great start. Yeah, I think it has. I think we've been we've been good. I think we've had a bit of a tough period. I think we had excellent like run of five games, but I think that coincided with a bit more stability in, in selection in terms of injuries, etc. But I think overall, I said to John this week that you know it's a, it's a position that you'd want to be in uh, rather than somewhere else. So. You know, obviously, you want to be top or second, but I think we're in good shape. We're in the top three, and uh, we can build from that. And uh, and I think one of the things that's encouraging is, I, I, you know, I don't think even though we've lost a couple of games, I don't think we've been well beaten in at any time. And I think and Saturday against Newport was a was a I don't think probably one of our worst performances, but we still get a point. So. That's important in any season, so I think it was. Uh, it was. It's been good. It's been a good start. A number of differences to last season. This season, top scorers in the league won a number of points with late goals, and also won a number of points, a number of games after falling behind as well. I think you're starting to see what John. You know, you're starting to see a bit more of what how John wants to tee his teams to play, and he's, he's getting. It's obviously every. I think every player now is here that he's either signed or re-signed. So, you know, he's. John and Colin and Mark are you know, starting to stand there, or sort of mark on, on on the squad and on the team and on performances and 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 results. So that's that's good to see, and 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 I think it's a good you know one thing we can say it's a good group of lads that are you know, having a go. You know they're having a go. They're, 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 and that's what a lot of fans want. They want you know players and as an owner or as a just as a fan or someone watching games, you want players to have a go and give it their all. And I think that's what they're doing. And the fans are responding, some big away followings, Orient and Steve Nietzsche immediately comes to mind and attendance is up here at Sixfields too. Yeah, again, it's, it's, it's a positive start. It's a, it shows a tremendous togetherness. You know, I think you can see it, you can see it all the way through the club. I think you know, fans going on the boat to Orient and having a good time and then and Steve Nietzsche really sort of cemented a lot of that stuff, didn't it? You know, in terms of, it always seems that we go there and we'll get a late goal and, and, and it really, and the fans really, can enjoy that because it's a close one, and 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 that togetherness is key. It's key because I think you, it, the fans are starting to identify with with these players, this group of players, and, and only good things can happen because of that. And it's a young squad too. Only John Guthrie, he won't thank me for this, but only John Guthrie over thirty. So a lot of players in their twenties or even younger. I think it goes towards the sort of the power, the pace, the the youthfulness that John was looking for early on, and. Uh, and uh, I didn't even know John was 30. But, you know, we, maybe we shouldn't have signed him. But um, uh, but no, John's been. Uh, he's, what I like about John is he's very solid, and he's uh, he's a good leader, a quiet leader, I would say, but a good leader. And uh, you look at John's performances, and I think we are certainly justified in in, in making sure that we didn't lose John in the summer. And in fact, he extended his contract, and because he helps it, and even Danny as well, and Danny. Danny might not have scored as many goals as he would like since coming in. He might have been injured a few time, extra times, but and obviously the suspension, which again we thought was ridiculous. But um, he's had an impact on these players, you know, and, and he's come on the pitch a couple of times at Stevenage, at Stock, you know, uh, here at, against Stockport, where he's changed the game, and and uh, you can see that in him. And, and I think he'll go from strength to strength. But he's the older players are good, but it's that youth that. that that's, that's good to see. We'll come back to the, the youth and the, and the young players in a while, but um, medium term planning in place. There's a number of players now. Mitch Pinnock last week signed a new contract. John Guthrie in the summer. Tyler McGlaw is on a three year contract too, and a host of other players on two year contracts. So there is a, a stability ab about the core of the squad. It was good last last week. We had a recruitment meeting, and it was good to sit there and listen that we're not looking for, you know, seven eight in the window. You know, we're looking for a couple. Or, three or two or three, it depends on some players and positions, etc. We're not looking for wholesale changes. And then that follows through to the summer because you've got players on under contract for longer periods of time and, uh, and uh, you know, and, and you're better players in a sense. And, and, and there'll be some more, I'm sure there'll be more conversations as we go along. And, but I think it's a, I think we're in a, in, in good shape. I think we, we're, we're a solid group and, and uh, we've got that solid group for a couple of years, really. Getting your better players under contract for longer is often easier said than done, but the fact these players like John Guthrie, like Mitch Pinnock, like Tyler McGlaw are willing to commit shows, they must enjoy their time, they must enjoy playing for the club. Listen, I think we, we treat players well, we treat everybody well, we do the right things. 
as a club, we're into it. We're, you know, football football orientated, and the players see that. You know, because we're not paying the most money. That's a, that's a reality. We're not, and and uh, we, we 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 do things sensibly, and 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 we're actually proud of that. And and obviously, players are buying into that, and 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 the and you know, the rest of the clubs buying into it as well. We're you know we're a, a solid, you know, football club that. That, that is building and and, uh, and and making sure that we're taken care of in the in the in the medium term, longer term. It's already been a good season for the younger players. More than 50 first team appearances from current or former academy players. Josh Tomlinson becoming the club's youngest ever scorer. And then on Tuesday night, the youth team had a great night at Peterborough in the FA and Youth Cup. I know you were there and you, you enjoyed the game. Yeah, it was brilliant. I, I took uh, took Graham over. Graham Carr came over with me and he loved it. It was. It was uh, it was a great performance. I think we even like, I think there's a lot of injuries in that youth team, and you saw the bench and and, and the uh, the players that the, the players that weren't able to play because of injury, and, and that's quite a strong group in itself. But the boys that were on the pitch were just just fantastic. They really they, they really gave it their all, and and uh, and you know Peterborough being a cat two academy uh, investment in that and what that costs, and they would have been disappointed in that result. But for us, it was you know. Ruben smashing them in from all over the place, and uh, fair play to them. They enjoyed it, and they and they should. And it was good to see. It's good to see that sort of, that pathway, and uh, you know, and, and it was good. It was there was a lot of people. There's a lot of people there. A lot of people from the first team, you know, coaching staff, and we had a, we, a good representation there. And again, it shows how together the, the club is all the way through. A big day coming up for another of our successful teams, Northampton Town. We're in there at Sixfields on Sunday, and I know that's another game you're looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, and no, I said I'd be there. Hopefully, we've we've had a good result on the Saturday, and uh, we can come in on the Sunday and uh, enjoy that enjoy that game as well. I was here for the last one, um, and uh, the performance was good. The result wasn't. You know, I think it ended up a draw, but the result wasn't exactly what they wanted. But uh, I saw one of the coaches uh, yesterday. We talked about that. They didn't have a great result on Saturday on last Sunday. So I think they'll really want to. You know, they will really want to sort of show what they can do and. And I just saw Damon, and the crowd looks like it's going to be really good. And and there's a, you know a lot of sponsors for the women's team are here. So you know again, it's, it's it, the, the women's team is part of the club, and along with the community, and uh, along with the, the youth team, and it's all about you know how we do it, how we move forward, and, and together. Moving off the pitch, um, the More Than Football European Award, fantastic last year when. The Community Trust Tackling Loneliness Project was named in the final top ten for the this top European award. It gone one step further now, got into the final four against the likes of, of Newcastle and, and, and Werder Bremen. And um, just to be in that company just shows well, firstly a huge you must be a huge sense of pride for, for you and everyone at the club, but also it shows the impact the club's work is having in the community. Uh, I, it's really hard to describe in words how impressive that, that this is. Uh, and you look at the, all the clubs, and and you look at all the clubs that, have, that, that we've beaten to get to this point. And and and, and for me, it's it's all about the work that went on. That's the key to it. This is a recognition for what's happened. But for me, it's still about the work. And, I, and in fact, I, I, you know, I did speak to Keith Curl and 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 said like he's part of this award as well because Keith and his staff at the time, you know, made these phone calls and. Including myself and you know James and yourself, Gareth, and you've got to take some credit for for how you helped organise this this whole process um, in terms of the calls that were being made, etc. So as a club, it's very impressive what happened, and it does fill me and it fills everyone at the club with immense pride. I think it's not just me. I you know it's it, this isn't me doing this. This is you know I was part of it, but a small part of what happened and. And uh, and the recognition is, is is fantastic, and you know the EFL have recognised it, and I think national there's some national coverage to come, and you know we have to we have to be part, you know put our chests out a little bit and say yeah you know what well, we did this and we made we made a difference in the community and 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 deserve the recognition, and we continue to make a difference in the community. That's what we are. We're a community club, and we continue to be, and we'll always will be. Another. Um scheme that the club's very proud of sustainability day last saturday the launch amongst other things the launch of the recyclable cup scheme that was a big success um and just to see the number of stores outside the ground as well the number of partners the club were involved in the very important work in that area 
It is very important. Uh, sustainability, you know, there's, there's obviously a lot of discussion around, you know, climate change and sustainability, etc. And having just been, you know, been through a quite a devastating hurricane back in Florida, it's it's uh, it's definitely a topic of conversation. But but it's important that we're and we're it's important that we're part of that. Um, and uh, and there is a league that I know we're involved with in terms of sustainability and. And we've done very well and damon heading up that with, with his team heading up a lot of that project with phil so you know it's an important part of what we do and it was great to see all the cups out there and i think people were, some people were collecting a bunch of cups and uh etc etc but no it's, that was really good and the big screen i know there's no time scales yet but i think we're another step forward another step closer to having the new big screen at six fields yeah i think james uh james said that the planning permission has been granted for the for the screen outside, so that means that, 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 that we can start progressing on, on both screens, So, which will be good. I think it'll be good to bring it up to the digital age. I kind of I kind of will miss that screen, I think. I, I, you know, in, in a strange way, I think there's been a lot of things happening since we've owned the club that, that we've, that's we've that been highlighted on that screen and that little blue square that, that's still there that, that we can't get rid of, and I understand why, but it'll be nice, but it will be nice to progress that and, uh, and uh, be able to get some good images up there and etc cetera, etc cetera, like we do anyway and i know discussions are ongoing about the training ground improvements that you you referenced it at the open forum a few weeks ago but the first third of the season through on and off the pitch good times yeah no we, you know we'll progress as we i think we're at least stage now and in terms of the building and then it'll start then we'll start work on construction so hoping to be in there you know, we're we'll definitely, we're we'll definitely trying to be in there this season. So that's that's the key. And 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 the pitches, uh, you know, that investment in the pitches and that investment in the training ground is, is in, you know, I think is coming to, to to bear in terms of what we're doing in terms of as a club as a whole. You know, in terms of um, performances on the pitch, players wanting to be here. You know, the the bottom line is players won't sign contracts if they don't want to be here or they don't want to um, the clubs you know, going downhill or, you know, there's, they don't see any, you know, progression. And, and, that, and, and the players are, you know, seasoned players. And that's what's encouraging for us is, is we're putting together a good squad because so much of it is, a, it's all about the football really. And, you know, I've been here a couple of weeks and, you know, and what's great for me, you go see the first team, you go see the youth team, I'll see the women on the weekend, you know, some of the disability stuff, some of the other community stuff. You know, in a couple of weeks, you get to see the whole club and how the whole club is together and working, and and it's so encouraging. Like everyone is so excited about Tuesday. You know what happened on Tuesday with the youth team, you, people, staff in the office. You know, um, and Maltz was there, and, and you know, Maltz is. Everyone's talking about it, and that's the, that's the exciting thing is that everyone wants to be supportive of each other. So, and that's the key. So, and that's that's it's great to watch.